I was living in California, and I was writing songs for other people. I was a staff songwriter for Screen Gems Music. I already had a songwriting career going that was not influenced by anything but my Texas upbringing at that point. So my perspective was a little bit different. And when I decided to move back to Texas, uh, I already had a record deal, probably about 500 songs already published. When I moved to Austin, this is before the Armadillo World Headquarters, and before even the, the Vulcan Gas Company, which is what they called it then. This is when I played at the Checker Flag and a folk music nightclub called Castle Creek. And I had my own coffee house when I was a teenager, before I left to go to California. When I came back, I continued to play in the coffee houses, one of which I helped found. And uh, so I played in the Rubiot in Dallas and I played in Castle Creek. These are places that weren't bars. These are places where you drank espresso and, uh, and listened to other people's material. And I think that's the real reason why the Texas music scene took off and a lot of other ones didn't, is because there was a, a good sized audience for original material there. You didn't have to be in a cover band and you didn't actually need a band. You could just play a guitar and people would actually pay to come in and sit and listen to you play your songs. In that time, from 68 to 74, and even before, I ran into Jerry Jeff Walker when he lived in Greenwich Village and was being a folk singer. And I ran into Guy Clark and a couple of other people who were just drifting around trying to find a job as songwriters. And they knew that I had published songs. So they gravitated toward me and I, I showed them the ropes, as it were, about how to publish songs and stuff. You don't show Guy Clark the ropes on how to write a song. But I think the material was very much influenced by storytelling instead of commercial songs, just commercial love songs. We like to tell a story, and I always like story songs. So I was kind of getting out of that scene and going to Texas where I could find an audience to listen to my story songs. Mm -hmm. 